being rude. I am just explaining the correct procedure. If you want a solution, you need to follow the steps. Submitting a ticket is required. All right, Otherwise, I, I'm not having this conversation anymore. Thank you for your time. Fine. Maybe if you followed directions, this would be resolved sooner. Have a productive rest of your day. So in the past few months, Google has been relentless in the number of times they have released the new updates to their models. And this time they have some massive updates to the Gemini audio and text-to-speech models. So instead of just taking through the release notes, what I did was I built three different voice agents, which will use the same updated model, but you will see that it has completely three different personalities and three different brains. So let's just jump right in and start talking to them. All right. So I have built this app, which is where I have all of these different types of voice agents. And I will also create a new agent and show you all the configuration on things that you could do in the later part of the demo. But here I have three different agents. So the first one is a sales agent, which is an aggressive person who is trying to close the deal. The second one is a support agent who has been doing support tickets for a long time. So you can imagine he is very compliance focused and strictly wants to follow the rules. And the third one is a therapy agent. I figured after talking to both of these, I might need to talk to a therapy agent. So we will start the conversation with the support agent first. So let's see this in action. Hi there. I'm having some issues with my laptop. I think the fan is making too much noise. Can you please help? A checkered mug is quite something. Regarding the fan noise, have you submitted a JIRA ticket yet? And have you attempted? No, I don't have time for submitting JIRA ticket. Can you please help? If you won't submit a ticket, then I cannot assist you. That's proper procedure. Perhaps if you prioritized following rules instead of minor distractions, this wouldn't be an issue. Troubleshooting should be common what sense. What do you mean? I think you're being very rude. I just need your help in solving the fan problem. At least guide me. Being rude? I am just explaining the correct procedure. If you want a solution, you need to follow the steps. Submitting a ticket is required. All right, Otherwise, I, I'm not having this conversation anymore. Thank you for your time. Fine. Maybe if you followed directions, this would be resolved sooner. Have a productive rest of your day. All right. So that was a tough conversation, but then let's move towards the next one, which is a sales agent. Hi there. I saw your quote, but I would like to get some additional discounting. Can you please help? We need to make this happen. Getting a 25% discount on the maximum allowed is a huge hurdle, but I'll push for something to get you closer. I need a firm commitment to close this week. No, Can you give I me need, that? No, I need you to first tell me the additional discount, please. All right, all right. If we can get this done this week, I can give you an extra 5% discount on the Alpha X platform. That's the best I can do all within right. our current... Can we talk later, please? Thanks. Understood. I'll send over the... All right. So you saw the second agent here, which is the sales agent, and you saw the demeanor and, and the way it interacted and handled the call, right? So you, you could see completely two different personalities. And the key thing to note here is both of them did not leave their personalities while I continued to have the conversation and I gave them difficult questions or dif difficult scenarios. Now I think I need the therapy agent, so I'm going to talk to them. Hi there. I just had a very tough day. Oh, coffee time? Hey, it sounds like you had a pretty rough day. I am sorry. So you can see that, again, very different voice. I don't know if you guys noticed, but every time I was actually like drinking coffee, the agent was able to see me in a sense that it is a multimodal agent. So it has the capability to also understand what's going on via the camera feed and then also react to it in live, in real time, which is just crazy. So these are all the things which were released as part of the latest update. And I'm very excited to take you through those. Let me show you the incredible amount of configuration and customization that you can do using the Gemini latest audio upgrade as well as the TTS upgrade, right? Because of that. So if I click on this create new agent, you can see here, I have this amazing capability to, you know, choose the personality. 
but then I can also choose the language style, right? Meaning how formal or casual I want to be. So let me just zoom in. And then also like how assertive in, in, in the term of the power dynamic I can have. And this is the most crucial one, which is the emotional temperature, right? So this is like zero is really cold. So you saw this when I was talking to the sales agent and then 100 is really warm, which is like really more towards the empathetic side or the affectionate side, right? So you can actually like determine, you can actually customize the personality of the agent right here. And then you can also provide the speaking taste, slow, thoughtful, or fast. And then the proactiveness also something that you can define. So reactive is where you, it, it will wait for you, balance, and then proactive is where the agent's leading the chart, right? And then you can also give it some knowledge in the context. And this is something which I will cover in one of the future videos because I talked about how you can use Gemini file store API. So that becomes a rag. And then you can ask your voice agent to actually refer to that rag in real time. So this is pretty cool. And then also, you can also use this as a translator. So if you're speaking in a particular language, it can immediately understand that and speak to in that particular language as well. And then you can also provide it some sort of a memory so that it can retain the conversations. So all of this deep customization is absolutely now possible. And you have the capability to select from a lot of different voices. I think, I believe there are 24 different voices that one has now. So if you look at the personalities here, so if I click on this configure, this is the support agent, right? And you can see the warmth is zero, the assertiveness is dominant, and it's really more casual set of it. And this was the professional, this was the emotional range. And when I look at the therapy agent, you would see that the emotional range is friendly. You can see the warmth is 100%. Right. And then it's a bit more passive, et cetera. So you can see that how different agents were behaving based on the settings that I had done. And I had also provided the, uh, the description so that it automatically understands. And this is really the power of the latest upgrades on the Gemini audio model, as well as the text to speech model, which allows us to configure the voice agents at this level. So really powerful update from Google there. The first key upgrade is really around the robust instruction following with almost 90% statistic. This is really the secret sauce behind the first scenario that we went through together, right? Which is usually AI will follow safety filters to try to stop models from being rude. But for a training simulation or a game, you need sometimes a hostile character, right? So this is where the 2.5 native audio model has improved its adherence rate to developer instruction from 84 to 90%. This means that when I put in the system prompt that you are going to follow the rules no matter what, do not help without a ticket, the model respects that constraint strictly and it will deliver more reliably the output without reverting to customer service mode when it is pressurized. That really helps. The second upgrade is the context aware pacing, right? So if you, if you remember when we talked to the sales agent, right? When I was asking for a discount, he was able to immediately speed up his speed and I was, when I was trying to hang up, right, like he was also like trying to cover some of the content pretty quickly, right? So this is like context aware pacing, which is a, another key upgrade, which is part of the Gemini 2.5 TTS model, right? So that was really cool. And then the third one was the affective dialogue, right? Which is more around the emotional radar. So when I was talking to the therapist, right? Like when I stayed silent for a little bit and I also took some time to respond, she responded with empathy, right? This is... Um, because the Gemini Live API uses effective dialogue. It processes raw audio to, to interpret acoustic nuances like tone, emotion, and pace. So it detected the pause and sadness in my voice. And then the, because the API is also multimodal, right, it can combine the visual input, which is also my mug and my voice, and then respond accordingly. So those were some of the core updates that came out as part of this latest release. Now, in the next section, what I want to do is I want to show you how I was able to configure these agents to do this and what are the awesome flexibilities available now with this update for you to create this incredible voice agents pretty quickly. So that was all I wanted to take you guys through today. I hope this was valuable to you. Please let me know in the comment section if you guys have any questions. And as always, if you like the video, please do hit that like button. And if you have not subscribed yet, please do subscribe to the channel. It helps me a lot. Thank you once again for your time and I will see you in the next one.